Hi, what's one type book here? Now, I've just showed you part one of the AU968 Plus uh, rework station or reflow station, we call it. Um, now, I'm going to show you um, the big daddy of the AU company, um, the AU868 INT866 rework station. Um, it's one of the most portable, very e economic um, BGA reflow station of all time. Um, highly recommended, you know. So let's take a look at it, shall we? Right? Okay. So here we have the AU INT866 rework station, complete repair and rework station, right? It comes with a built-in preheater, so you don't need to use no griddle or any kind of thing. The preheater is a quartz infrared crystal um, preheater. So in other words, you're getting a good concentration of heat on the board at adjusted temperatures. Um, it also comes with a stand, very adjustable stand. That's the one, same as the AU, but a little smaller because the unit is more... Um, it's more, it have an internal fan in it, like that, right? Um, hold on. Yeah, All right. You know, um, it also comes with different types of nozzles and soldering iron as well. But I more do use this machine for reballing, reflowing, and whatnot. Um, this is a custom-made nozzle from AU, and is a, it is used for um, BGA reworking. PS3s, Xbox 360s, and um, certain computers, some, certain laptops, and whatnot. That is why I use that nozzle for. It's a very economic nozzle. Um, so yeah, um, this is what it looks like. It's a very small, lightweight machine. Um, this right here in my hand is a thermal coupler or a thermal sensor. What it does is basically measures the temperature of the board when it's on this preheater here, right? It also comes with a, an adjustable um, air pressure knob. It also comes with three buttons right here, which is the hot air. When you turn that on, the hot air will come on. Um, the preheater, where when you turn this preheater on, it turns on the preheater base here. And this is the soldering iron. But I do not have the soldering iron connected because right now the thermocoupler is using the um, soldering iron section, right? Um, this particular bad boy also comes with um, feeling like southern iron, southern stand. Um, it also comes with not a vacuum, sorry, um, not a hose type uh, um, um, BGA pickup tool. It actually comes with a pen type pickup tool, right? As you can see, very, very economic um, thing instead of using a sort of unnecessary cord. Anyway, this actually does everything for you, right? It also comes with three other different types of suction cups as well for different sizes. Um, it also comes with um, what you call, uh, how you call this bad boy. Um, yeah, so, let me take a look inside here. Right there, good. It comes with these things here. This is basically board holders. So you could put it as center as possible on the board according to the size of the board and whatnot. Um, this is not really, these particular clamps, not really, uh, holders are not really recommended for Xbox 360 and PS3 boards because it's not long enough to actually support it, but it's one of the best um, out there. Then yeah. So, let me turn it on and show, uh, show you how it looks. Alright. There you go. Now, to turn on the thermocoupler, you actually press down and it turns it on right and to turn it off you press up and it turns up right now these little buttons here is to adjust the temperature of the um, southern end the preheater and also the hot air right it goes from the preheater could go up as much as 500 degrees which is not recommended or all the way to 100, right? Um, the top heater, which is this bad boy here, it could go as much as up to 480 degrees without popping the element. Air pressure could go on max, which is approximately 6 volt um, itself. 
six balls meaning six ball pressure, like what we see on the AU 968, right? Um, when you turn on the preheater, this is what has actually happened when you turn it on. So normally you have a delay, and then it will start to build the temperature just as it's about to kick in. Alright, there you go. Start to build the heat. Yeah, starting to feel warm already. Right, so the temperature goes up, you know, 250, right, temperature set a bill. And then you have the top heater, which is basically when you turn this button on here, like, then you hear the heater goes on. Right now it's set to 30, so all I do is turn it up like that. Then the temperature builds up two seconds at a time. Right? So I can adjust it like low, like that way it actually has no air. And then I could turn it up as much as max. Where it actually get a lot of air coming out from Ooh, that burns. Um we could get a lot of air from it. I normally use this around the temperature when dealing with um BGAs and whatnot. Right. So just turn off the hot air, and it's cooling off now. I want to reach 100 degrees. It turns off, just like how the AU 96 does do. Right. Good. So this is what that machine does. Right. Um. It's also on Amazon, very very reasonable price by the way. Um, it's uh, it's still a learning. This machine, you know, it, it's for beginners. You know, I'm a beginner as well, and so far I've done a lot of good work with that machine. Um, it's a very very powerful machine. Um, my only thing is that you know it should have been a little bigger, but other than that, it does the, it does the job. You know, it does the job very well. It's a very very high. It's a very um, efficient machine it works very very well um, the thermocoupler um, however um, it's a very good thermocoupler but I think it should need some more improvement because sometimes the temperature doesn't be that exact but it's a very very beautiful machine um, I would recommend anybody to get this right but when you get this you know this is not just something you could just like buy and leave there and, and, and abuse it because you know Rework stations do not like to be abused. You have to take good care of it and that kind of thing. And you see, if you don't know what you're doing, you could damage yourself or you could damage people's um, um, equipment on this said machine. So, it, you know, it takes a lot of training to actually get used to, uh, to know and understand this machine and whatnot. Um, to all my people in the States, I would highly recommend this for small um, reworking for like phones and those kind of things. Works really, really good. Um, it's a nice, beautiful size, you know, as you can see, it's, it's almost like, the, like close to like my hand size, a little bit to the wrist, you know, it's a very good, it's a very, very good product, you know, um, right, about the top heater section, um, my little, well, the top heater section is a very nice, well designed stuff, but I find that, you know, this fan, inside here should have been a little more um powerful you know but it works good you know it works good to its point it actually gets the job done um spreading the, the air to the to the point to, to heat for the soda to melt you know it's it's good it's a good product it's a good product you know um other than that it's very very cheap uh i could say about like 200 bucks for it or so according to wherever you get it. Um, I think I was the first person to actually purchase a AU, um, this AU on Amazon because it was fresh from um, the company itself. And I said, look, let me, get, let me give it a try and see if I could bust a review on it and that kind of thing, right? So, yeah, this was AU, very, very nice machine. Can't wait to get it. I can't wait to get more 
of these comp um this of more of these machines here because it's, a, it's such a beautiful machine to do everything you know it's a very efficient machine especially for a, a, a business that, that that does a lot of uh, small reworking it's a highly recommended machine both this and the 968 very very recommended um, hope to get more of these soon from the company and whatnot so um oh I forgot to tell you this bad boy also comes with uh, manual comes with sword and iron sword and tips and the nice thing about it, AU treat us so nice that they give us a toolkit. So it comes with a toolkit and you can load all your stuff in here. For example, all my nozzles. Right? My nozzles. There's the suction cups here. When you lift up inside here, there's actually more nozzles, an IC picker, um elements elements um oh there yeah, we go these are the solder and tips here right very very nice recommended tips um element for it also come with an IC picker I don't really use it guys use the soldering one right um for the heat gun element if in case anything burns out um solder and stand and what not that's no hold on and we just put this back in here okay there we go right 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 it also comes with a oh gosh here we go it also comes with this solder and stand here I haven't used it as yet because um not really intended to because I already have enough sword and iron. Um, it also comes with its own sword and iron as well, which is this one here. That's the sword and iron it comes with. So it doesn't come with the one with the smoke absorber, it does come with the regular sword and iron. Right? Um, yeah, so this is pretty much everything that what um, the company gives you. Very you said device. So, uh, yeah. So that's my review of the AU. Um, INT866. Um, feel free to question me about the product and whatnot, and I will see if I can get back to you as soon as possible. Um, to all my people in the inter uh, internationally that um, buy, you know, buy these things to review, um, I want to hear your take on it. Same thing goes to the 968. Um, and feel free to tag me in it so I could actually um, review your review on this. Um, he said two products here. Um, hopefully, if God spare life, um, I might be able to get at least two or three more of these said machines so I could be able to get my job done properly and safe, you know. So, anyhow, um, this is Mod Fun Cyborg speaking here. Um, hope to see you guys um, very soon. We're willing to answer your messages. Um, if you need any kind of questions, answer, and I can't respond to you. Um, you can check my um, my page on um, Facebook at JDEF Enterprise. Um, phone number um, 1-868-686-7973. Feel free to call me um, to all my international peeps. 1-868-686-7973. Um, my number is also, will also be on the page as well. Feel free to, you know, respond to me and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So, um, yeah, so, this is, this is Mod Fun's iBook speaking here. want to thank everyone for watching my review and whatnot. Um, we'll talk later, okay? All right, people, take care.